This video covers how to protect your virtual private cloud on Amazon Web Services. Fortinet has a slew of products designed to work together to help protect against various threat vectors. This includes the FortiWeb, a web application firewall, the FortiGate, a next generation firewall, the FortiMail, an email security gateway, the FortiManager and FortiAnalyzer centralized management and reporting platforms, and the FortiSeam. In this video, we'll specifically talk about the FortiGate next generation firewall. When it comes to protecting the VPC, the process begins first and foremost with having a solid security group configuration. The best practice is to customize the security group to tightly fit around the network access structure that you define. Once past this point, AWS recommends the using of third-party firewalls to complement this functionality. The FortiGate Enterprise Class Next Generation Firewall is ideally suited to play this role. It provides best-in-class enterprise firewall features including app control, IPS, antivirus, and so on. So how do you protect your VPC? First, you start off with designing and configuring your security groups. Next, you add on the next generation firewall. And finally, you enable advanced threat protection features like cloud sandboxing. With the FortiGate next generation firewall, deployment and management are extremely easy. With an intuitive and easy to use policy control, you can deploy effective policies while using its granular feature sets. Its application control features are very simple to use and as you can see, one can easily customize them to allow or deny specific applications, like in this case, allowing AWS management access. With FortiView visibility, the FortiGate makes it extremely simple to monitor your entire network, not just individual FortiGate devices. Also, with a single click, one can enable protection against zero-day threats using the FortiSandbox cloud functionality. The FortiGate can also be automatically scaled to provide protection which grows with your network needs. This auto scaling is carried out using cloud formation templates. It makes it easy to control costs by setting minimum and maximum number of instances. And it also makes it extremely flexible by allowing scaling based on CPU utilization, memory utilization, number of sessions and session setup rate. Now let's take a look at how to deploy FortiGate auto scaling groups. In order to deploy an auto scaling group, we start off on our AWS console page and select cloud formation. Here, after selecting create stack, we will select the template which we wish to use. In this case, I have a template which will set up an auto scaling group with various parameters we will discuss shortly. Once we click next, we'll see a list of parameters we predefined in our template. Among these, we will need to provide a name for the auto scaling stack. We also have an option to select what is our scaling parameter. This could be one of four possible parameters, CPU utilization, memory utilization, number of sessions, and session setup rate. Once we select which of these we wish to use, we can set up minimum and maximum values to specify when to scale up or scale down. In this case, the system is set up to scale up at 80% CPU and to scale down at 40% CPU. We can also set up a maximum number of allowed auto scale instances to ensure we don't go over this number. We need to provide a name for the auto scaling queue and an S3 bucket where the configs will be saved. Keep in mind some of these values do need to be unique in order for this deployment to work. We need to specify the various subnets including private and public subnets as well as the availability zones we wish to use for each of these. Next comes the instance size. We can select whichever instance size we wish to use and all the supported instance sizes are available here. And finally, the keys which are to be used in order to access the firewalls. In the case of this deployment, it is essential to have the keys created beforehand as not having the keys will prevent you from being able to deploy the system. After checking all of these configurations, we can easily create an auto scaling group. Let's recap. We selected the auto scaling template, filled in the information, the scaling parameters, and the maximum necessary instances. By doing this, we used AWS Cloud Formation templates to launch a single VPC with three subnets and three FortiGate instances.
In order to access the auto scaling groups, we look under EC2 in the AWS Management Console. The auto scale group we just created is seen here, and as we can see, the maximum number of instances in this case is six. Also, if we check under scale policies, we see two policies, one for scale out and one for scale in. During regular operation, when a scale event occurs, the scale out policy is triggered. At this point, a new instance creation is requested and the FortiGate will be deployed with a matching configuration. This concludes the demo on auto-scaling the FortiGate VM series firewall on Amazon Web Services.